Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining me for today's yoga session. We are going to be focusing on hips and lower back today. So we're going to start sitting up nice and tall. We're just going to take a couple of nice deep breaths just to get in the zone. So close your eyes, congratulate yourself for showing up on the mat today. Take a nice deep breath in and out through the nose. Big smile on your face. Open your eyes and we'll get straight into tabletop for our cat cow. So we're going to sort of loosen up nice and slow. So my mat's creasing up. Let's get that flat. So get yourself in position. Hips above your knees, shoulders above your wrists. Nice flat back. Exhale for cat pose. Round your back, tuck your chin. And then inhale to cow. Lifting your head. Going with your breath, listening to your body. That's it. Really connect with that body. Really feel it. Feel the breath. Feel the stretch. Back and forth. So it's just a gentle stretch here. And then just come back to a neutral spine. And then we're going to sit back on the heels and bring those feet out in front because we're coming into our turtle pose. So again, we're focusing on hips and lower back. So it's a nice gentle stretch here through the hips, bringing the soles of the feet together, knees a little more than 90 degrees. And we're just going to fold forward. So you've got a flat back. Come forward as far as is good for you. If this is as far, then absolutely fine. Always listen to your body. You can walk a bit further, that's fine. With practice, you will. Just don't rush it, take your time. Walking those hands forward, listen to your body, relax your head. If you're quite close to your legs and you want to, you can tuck your hands underneath with your palms facing up and come into turtle pose. But the choice is yours. Listen to your body, we're all different and we're all at different stages, so don't, don't try and rush it. Just do what you can, do your best. And it's a nice gentle stretch here in the hips and in the thighs. Okay. So we're going to very slowly come back up. So if you've got your hands threaded, very carefully unthread them. Just bring your knees together and just tuck your chin and round your back. So pull your tummy in for the stretch up the, up the back, up the spine. And release. We're going to come into our seated pigeon. So stretch those legs out. Cross your right leg over the left. Bring that left leg up and just make sure that you're drawing your chest up towards your thighs. But again, listen to your body, sort of a little rock from side to side. Nice hip release here or hip stretch. That's it. Remember not to hold your breath. And slowly release. We'll do the other side. So stretch those legs out. Left ankle on right knee. Bring that right leg up. And again, just a gentle rock from side to side. That's it. Lovely. Okay. So we're going to release the legs. And we're going to lie down. Because this is about this is that release and restore. So it's quite a, a passive sort of practice today. So we're going to fold down. You can keep those legs in turtle pose. So we're going to come into recline goddess, which is like turtle pose, but lying down or butterfly pose, but lying down. So soles of the feet together. Let the knees drop down to either side. <clears throat> Clasp your head with your hands, with your elbows. Bring your elbows up and just let the knees relax to either side. Or if it's more comfortable, stretch your arms out. Again, there's no hard and fast rule here. Just find something that's comfortable for you. But this is a lovely 
restorative pose because you're not there's no effort involved here you're just getting that lovely inner thigh stretch and hip opener by the weight of your knee so gravity is doing all the work so just take a few nice deep breaths here and say remember you're doing the very best thing you can for your body and your mind and we're having a little bit of fun in between as well. Never take your yoga series too seriously. It should be about fun and enjoying yourself and listening to your body, being safe and listening. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. I <laughs> release my hands, use them to draw my knees back together and hug them in. So give that back a lovely massage. You can already feel those hips are, are open and we're giving that lower back a nice massage. That's it. You can come into your happy baby now. You can grab the outsides of your feet. Just stacking your ankles kind of over your knees and just gently rocking. Again, still massaging that back into the mat. And then release your feet to the floor and straighten your legs out. So you're going to come into a corpse pose. We're going to do a knee to chest. So we're gonna bring that right knee up and hug it in. So you're gonna hug that right knee down towards your, your chest. And then we're gonna gently lift that head. So you're bringing your forehead or your nose up towards your knee. Keep breathing. And release. In between, just relax, stretch out. And we'll do the other side. So, left knee up again, hug it in, that's it, and then lift the head. Keep breathing, and release. Okay, we're gonna come into our bridge pose now. So bring those feet flat on the mat, knees hip width apart, palms down, big breath in. Push down and squeeze those glutes. So squeeze, lifting up. That's it. Keep breathing. And lower down. Okay, we're gonna keep those knees bent. We're gonna do reclined pigeon. Again, hips, focusing on hips. Inhale your right foot up. So stretch that leg up and then place it on your right knee. Lift that left leg up. Now you can just stay here. You're still getting that stretch here. Or if you want to increase it, you can hug your thigh or your shin and then flex and point that right foot or make circles with it. Whatever feels good to you. As you move that foot, you can feel it right here. Just keep that foot moving. And slowly release both feet to the floor or do the other side inhale left foot up place it on your right knee lift your right leg up again just do that or hug thigh or shin and then move that left foot back and forth that's it whatever feels good to you Lovely. Okay, release your feet to the floor. Have a little stretch here. Just stretch your arms above your head. Fingers all the way down to your toes. Draw your knees up, hug them in. And we're gonna do a reclined or supine twist, which again is great for your lower back and your and your well, and your twist the twists and and for your hips and lower back. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm chatting away here. I know what I mean, but uh, I should have had a cup of coffee before I began. <laughs> okay, hugging those knees, extend your arms out to the sides. Take a nice big breath in, and let your knees roll to the right. So keeping that left shoulder on the mat, so your collarbones facing up, and if it's comfortable, you can turn your head to the left. 
close your eyes. Okay, we're going to engage the core. Inhale the knees back to the center and exhale them down to the other side. And again, turn your head the opposite direction. If that's comfortable, close your eyes. Breathe, enjoy. Okay, inhale those knees all the way back, hug them in, massage into the mat, and then release your feet to the floor. We're gonna lay in corpse pose for a moment or two. So allow your feet to relax to either side, arms are slightly away from the body, palms facing up. Remember this is release and restore. So we are releasing the hips and the lower back, and we're also in a restorative mood. So close your eyes, relax your hands, shoulders, your lower back, your upper back, your thighs, your knees, calves, ankles, feet, and toes, relax any tension in your face, allow your lips to gently part and your tongue to rest against the back of your upper teeth so that there's no tension in the mouth, just relax any tension in your body and your face, and just aware of the rise and fall of your chest. Just wiggle your fingers and your toes and then give your body a gentle stretch. Stretch your arms and hands, your fingers all the way down to your toes and then draw those knees up and hug them in one more time, massaging that back into the mat. Keep hugging those knees, let your head gently roll to the left, you can feel a nice relaxing sensation in the back of your neck. Keep hugging those knees, keep your eyes closed. Take your head slowly over to the right. Release your feet to the floor and roll onto your right side and just stay there, just for a moment. And then very slowly and gently lift yourself up into a comfortable seated position. Open your eyes and we'll just take a nice cleansing breath. Bring those hands together at your heart. So we're going to take a breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Inhale. And exhale. Namaste. And that was our session for today, focusing on the hips and the lower back. Um, remember, there is a little affirmation that I <laughs> should have said at the beginning. I release and let go with ease. So thank you so much for joining me for today. Uh, I'd love to hear how that session went for you. Let me know how you felt and apologies for all the fluffs of the words and things. But you know what? I'm human, I make mistakes and uh, I'm never going to never going to be perfect. I've given up trying that a long time ago. <laughs> 
So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I made you smile and that you feel good. Don't forget to let me know and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye.